Hello and welcome to another episode. This is Nostalgic Knickknacks and my name is Ryan. This is my retro gaming Perler Beating YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so glad you're here because today we are going to be looking at another favorite childhood nostalgic game of mine. Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. I absolutely adore this game in every way. To me, it's a perfect game. So we're going to be unboxing this and we're going to be looking through the little instructional manual that came with the game. Could you imagine games coming out now with instructional manuals? What a great idea that would be. Anyways, if you enjoy what I'm doing and you want more content like this, please like this video, and if you feel led to, subscribe. I've got great things coming your way. I release a new video every Wednesday and every Saturday, so be sure to check them out. Let's get into some thoughts on Yoshi's Island, and then we'll get into the unboxing. So Yoshi's Island, this game blew me away when I played it. I guess I was around 10 years old and I loved Super Mario World. It really did open up a new world of gaming for me. The sequel to such a great game, how in the world did Nintendo top that? Well, they topped it in a different way. They came to this to this series with a sequel that really in all respects, was a prequel. So if you've never played Yoshi's Island, the basics of it is that Mario and Luigi are newborn babies delivered by the stork and Yoshi happens to come across them and there's this beautiful lullaby song that plays throughout the intro of this game and Yoshi feels, and the band of Yoshis, all the different Yoshis, that all the different colors, they band together and they have to save Luigi. I remember seeing my sister play this game and there were some levels that were pretty difficult. It presents itself as a cute game at first, but the difficulty really does ramp up in a great way. And uh, I've gotten the chance to play this game since then, of course, and, uh, and love every minute of it. In particular, the bosses were absolutely fantastic and creative. The pixel art is just uh, outstanding. So let's get into this unboxing. So here we are, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. I absolutely love the cover art of this game. It really catches the imagination and captures the adventure that you're in store for with this game. So let's look at the box. Here's the back. The ever important four pictures that you would look at when you would go rent this game back in the day when this was released. Yoshi returns to save baby Mario in this sequel to Super Mario World. The evil Magic Koopa Kamek is out to kidnap baby Mario. In this sequel, I would say prequel, to Super Mario World, you play as Yoshi. Your goal is to successfully carry baby Mario back to his parents in the Mushroom Kingdom while avoiding all of Kamek's clever traps and evil minions. Enjoy the various backgrounds of this rich and vibrant locales of Yoshi's Island as you race to complete your quest. 16 megs of memory provide six worlds, each with eight stages. Morphmation delivers powerful special effects, scaling, rotating, and 360 degree scrolling. Huge characters and even bigger bosses that require quick thinking and you could save your game. Oh, just beautiful. I love it. Let's unbox it. Now inside of this is my original cartridge 
The box itself is something I ordered from a guy on Etsy. I'll have the link below in the description. Oh, my original cartridge, still in great condition. Beautiful. I love it. Let's jump into the instructional manual. So here it is, the original. I don't have the box anymore, but I have pretty much all the manuals that I got back in the day. Let's dig into this. So this is actually what you see in the game, so I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but I'll just read a little bit. This story happened a long time ago. This is a story about a baby and Yoshi. A stork hurries across the dusky pre-dawn sky. In his bill, he supports a pair of twins who are to be delivered to their parents as soon as possible. Suddenly, something appears between the clouds and races towards the stork with blinding speed, and that is Kamek. Screech, it screams, these babies are mine. So as it happens, Yoshi comes across them. The second baby does not fall into the sea after all, it lands safely on Yoshi's back. So that's how Yoshi comes into the picture. The green Yoshi draws first honors. I love this artwork here. How beautiful is that? So then you get to the controls and the gameplay was really important in this game. You had to grab your enemies, you made eggs after you, you didn't just jump on them, you actually made them into something. So that was a cool new mechanic and then you could throw the eggs and use them as weapons. You jump, flutter, flutter, Yoshi still flutters everywhere in every game he's in. Just love all of these drawings. It's just beautiful. You don't get anything like this anymore. You had a um, stage select screen where you would see a picture representing each stage. Very cool. If you get struck, Baby Mario will fall off your back. Watch the timer. Oh goodness, this baby cry. Wah, wah, wah. It will get on anybody's nerves who plays this game. Uh, baby Mario is crying out for Yoshi to come save him. And you have so much time before the timer reaches zero and that's how you get a game over. So you have to make sure you get Mario before uh, before Kamek and his minions get him. So you had a lot of collectibles in this game. You had the checkpoint ring. You had stars. You had flowers. You have red coins. And the goal was to get 100 points. In some of these stages, it was pretty difficult. I don't think I ever got 100 points on all of them. Let's keep going. Bonus challenges, mini games. You had your message blocks, your winged clouds for all kinds of things, switches. Watermelons that made Yoshi spit out different types of materials, uh, fire, ice, spitting seeds. That was a lot of fun in that monkey level. You know what I'm talking about if you've done the monkey level. So then there were some special moments where you would play Baby Mario. You could dash, climb walls, and float. And he still has that cape from Super Mario World. And Yoshi could actually transform into different animals or or vehicles so you had the helicopter the mole tank submarine just i i just love the creativity and imagination here all these different yoshi vehicles keys doors mini battles 
another throwback to Super Mario World. More mini games. <clears throat> There's some of your items there. And that's everything out of our manual. I hope you enjoyed that look through of Yoshi's Island, this instructional booklet. So I hope you enjoyed that look at Yoshi's Island today. Yoshi's Island holds a special place in my heart and it always will. The modern games, they do some great things. Yoshi's Woolly World, uh, back on the Nintendo 64, Yoshi's Story, uh, Yoshi's Crafted World. These are great games. But Yoshi's Island had some beautiful pixel art and fantastic gameplay and nothing that's been done since even touches it, in my humble opinion. I encourage you to try it if you haven't played this game. If you enjoy what I'm doing, please make sure to come back for more and I hope this video brightened your day. And until next time, keep gaming and keep it retro.